I'm Keith Peters with the Palo Alto Weekly. I'm Jamin Ball, a senior at Menlo School. Last week, uh, Jamin played in a combination of four tennis matches. Um, he competed in the uh, National Invitational High School Tournament uh, in Newport Beach. Menlo won all four matches. Uh, they won the championship. Jammin won uh, four doubles matches. He won three of his four singles matches. He was on the court to clinch the um, final uh, win over the top-seeded team, uh, University of Irvine, 5-3 to three in the championship match. Uh, first time Menlo has ever won this tournament to become the basically the unofficial national champions. And for that performance, uh, Jammin is the Apollo Weekly Boys Athlete of the Week. Again, a huge week for you guys, 4-0 uh, in the national tournament. You beat the top-seeded team. Um, what was the, the feeling going into that match as far as being able to compete with this team? Um, we had a lot of confidence coming off of our win against Saratoga in the semis. All of our guys really stepped up and played really well, had some good wins. Um, we played doubles first in the finals to start, three doubles matches. We were down 1-2, but guys played well. We got familiar with the guys we were playing singles with. Um, so we knew we had a chance. We knew we were going to have to play well again, like the semis. Um, but, you know, we didn't have the pressure of holding our number one seed. So we got, you know, played loose. And, yeah, guys just stepped up, and we were able to take it 5-3. The uh, semifinal match was against Saratoga. You won that match 5-3 also. Uh, Saratoga ended up finishing third in the tournament. Uh, Bellarmine was fifth. Uh, Saratoga is really your competition in CCS this season. Uh, was that a huge win for you guys as well? Yeah, that was definitely um, a big win. A lot of guys were looking forward to that match. Um, they're a team from around here, so we know a lot of players on their team. They know guys on our team. Um, yeah, and ev everyone knew we were going to have a tough match. It wasn't going to be easy. It's one of those teams where we could lose every match against them, and we could also win every match against them. Um, and we have the young guys on our team, a couple freshmen, Played really well. Showed us that they, you know, weren't going to crumble under the pressure. Um, it was really a team effort. We couldn't have done it with just one person. Everyone really played well, and you know, there's some pride at stake because we see them a lot in the tournaments outside of school. So that was de that was definitely a big match for us. What do you think that the strengths of this year's team uh, are? That you have really a few seniors. You've got uh, again. Uh, Three freshmen that are that are starting basically. Uh, it's it's really a kind of a mix, and yet this year's Menlo team is off to really the best start in school history. Yeah, um, I think a lot of it has to do with even though they're freshmen, they're still really experienced. Uh, all of our senior guys play a lot of tournaments. Um, they play tournaments around here. They play the national tournaments. Um, so they've they've been in they haven't been in it's you know team tennis is different, but they've been in situations where they're playing big matches on you know on the national stage. So they, they've played really well. Um, it take, since uh, we have so many good players on our team, our practices are really competitive. So they're always playing, practicing with good players and you know, staying, staying strong. And our coaches have definitely done a great job of keeping us motivated and really uncovering all the talent we have on this team. Your coach, Bill Shine, uh, said uh, after you beat uh, University for the uh, championship that uh, uh, essentially you're the, you're the unofficial national champs at that point. But uh, in order to validate this, this tournament championship, you pretty much have to go undefeated the rest of the season. And now that's something that would has never been done before. Uh, uh, as far as you'd have to sweep uh, the rest of the season, which would include CCS and NorCal's, be undefeated. It's never happened for a Menlo team. Uh, no pressure at all, right? Yeah, uh, I definitely add some, but you know you can't. You don't want to call yourself a national champion with a with a loss in your own section. Um, so it's definitely not going to be easy. But being able to to go undefeated, we most likely play Saratoga twice. Um, would definitely validate us as the, the national champions. Well, good luck the rest of the season. Congratulations. Thanks.